Thanksgiving Day is actually a very important day here at Fox 7. 63 years ago today, station went on the air, becoming the first TV station in Austin. And we are starting a new project here at Fox 7. It's called the Video Vault. We're giving you a look at Austin's history through our old news footage. Fox 7's Casey Claiborne has more. I'm Cactus Pryor, and this is home, KTBC Radio and Television at 10th and Brazos. Come on in, we'll show you around. I'm Casey Claiborne, and this is still home. Believe it or not, it's been more than five decades since Cactus stood right here and welcomed the people of Austin to our new digs. But KTBC has been around for even longer than that. So come on in and let me show you around the past 63 years. In 1960, KTBC debuted a brand new downtown studio at 10th and Brazos, where we still hang our news hats today. But KTBC history didn't start here. Thanksgiving Day, 1952. The station signed on the air with a football game, UT versus A&M. The Longhorns won, 32 to 12. That first broadcast was produced from this little studio at the base of KTBC's tower on Mount Larson. It only took five months to outgrow that, so the station moved over to the Driscoll Hotel, stayed there for seven and a half years before moving up the street. KTBC was the only station in town in those early days, showing the best programming from all of the major networks. But much of what was on our airwaves was local and live. In 1960, KTBC legend Cactus Pryor gave the people of Austin the grand tour of that new studio. So I took the, uh, the camera on a crew of the whole shebang, started on the third floor, I think it was, mm -hmm. second, and then the studio, and, and explain television and how it worked to the people, because it was still a really relatively new thing. He guided viewers through the then cutting edge newsroom, introducing news director Paul Bolton. Oh, we'd like you to meet the uh, city of Austin. I believe we've met. <laughs> Cactus Pryor's son, Dane, took a slightly different path than his dad. He's chief of the Roland Wood Police Department, but he spent much of his childhood roaming these very halls at KTBC. He would just turn us loose. You know, he had an office upstairs and we could roam the halls, we could come down here and play, or we'd come in and watch him do, you know, the recordings and stuff. And uh, if it wasn't that, it was um, coming in on Sundays and doing the Daryl Royal show. He remembers often running into station owners, the Johnsons, as in Lyndon B. and Lady Bird. They had a penthouse upstairs. Lyndon Johnson said, hold up, he came in and got on the elevator with us and uh, he went up. He went up top to the uh, to the penthouse, and um, very casual. Pryor says when his dad turned he and his brother loose, they would often come and play TV on the empty news sets. Studio would be empty, but the news sets were in place. So you had the the news anchor desk was right here in the front. You had the um, sports right over here and you had weather right over here. Coming back and getting to just look around for a while brought back a lot of good memories for Chief Pryor. Now I'm able to just look around and it's all really coming back to me. And uh, right now I wish I was a kid uh, about to be on Uncle Jay show and, and just coming in here and doing that. But this is great. Speaking of memories, KTBC has an entire vault full of them. Let's take a look inside. Box 7 is working on digitizing the decades and decades of news footage in this room. We'll be putting it on YouTube. We call it the Fox 7 Video Vault. From the horrific UT Tower shooting. Good evening. One of history's worst mass murders occurred here in Austin today. By official count tonight, 49 persons were hit by gunfire. There are 16 dead and 33 injured. To just shedding some light on what this KTBC reporter is doing teetering on the edge of the Westgate Tower downtown. Well, we've got a lot of footage to get through down here, so I guess I'd better get a little work done. From the Video Vault, Casey Claiborne, Fox 7 News. How cool it's, is that? It's awesome. I mean, I, I'm almost speechless as a, as a history major and yeah. someone who's just been in love with Austin since I was a little kid mm -hmm. growing up in Houston and coming up here. And it's amazing. Yeah. You realize how fortunate we are to get to do this and kind of keep that going. Be in the same building. Yeah. Part of history. Yeah. history. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. It's very KTBC. cool. And you can see more of Cactus Pryor's tour of our station from 1960 on our YouTube channel. Just search for Fox 7 Austin and you will find the video vaults. Yeah.